hello friends in this video let's talk about one of the easy and important uh, function that is nothing but uh, is numeric it really helps us to identify either column value is numeric or not it gives you an output either 1 or 0 if it is a numeric it gives you the value as 1 if it is non numeric it gives you the output as 0 it checks the value either numeric or not that's it I'll show you practically how to use this so what is the syntax of it the syntax is is numeric of expression you have to write the expression so instead of this expression you can directly put the column name or you can put some calculated fields here instead of this expression you can directly put the database column name or you can put the combination of columns to identify either the result is numeric or not so let me show you practical here so I have a table in adventure works where I have couple of scenarios which is covered in the same table so let me take a address table so percentage address so let's run this so if you run this table so I have around 19,000 records more than 19,000 records so before going to talk about numeric expression here so I have a column postal code postal code so if you understand clearly here postal code postal code varies country to country in India postal code is a numerical value in USA postal code is a numerical value in United Kingdom postal code is non numerical value it's a alpha numerical value so it means that this address table contains postal code of numerical values as well as non numerical values if you really see this see Dallas postal code is 75201 if you see this Ottawa K44B1T7 like this here if you see this Calgary and so on so here Cambridge is BA53HX and so on like this see now let me apply is numerical is numeric expression on the top of postal code I can see that so instead of all the columns so let me make it as a first I'll put it as a postal code comma so let me make it a star at the last is numeric of postal code comma now let me run this so I can show you the difference like side by side that's the reason why I made as postal code first then next one, next one is a use numeric so here 98011 numeric s 98011 numeric s now let's go to the different value where you have yes here k2 k4b 1t7 so this is 0 it is not numeric these three are not numeric that is the reason why you have it but still it contains a numerics but along with that you have some alphabets that is the reason why it it checks for every entire string and it checks it tells either it's a numeric call or not even this one also even yeah so wherever you have a non numerical then it shows you zero so now you can put it like a saying that is numeric equal to one alone if you want equal to one only so here you have now 19614 records if I run this I'll be getting only specific records 15,000 around 16,000 records I got it so it means that I have more than three to four thousand records which postal code is having alphabets let me make it as zero now are not equal to one either is fine just to identify that let's make it as not equal to one see this now you can see this this is a zero this is v9 is zero this and so on I can see it these are all are non numericals that's the reason why the value as zero here that's how you identify either the column or expression is a numeric or not in a SQL server it's very easy for us so here 
my numeric expression takes anything and it gives you either 1 or 0 as the output. So it takes like either money is considered as a numeric, integer considered as a numeric, float considered as a numeric, decimal considered as a numeric, numeric 18 comma 0 is considered as a numeric only. Apart from these bits, small int and so on it considered as a numeric but if you take like this alphabets and all it considered as a non-numeric and it gives you the result as 0. So let me run all the query to see both now again. See these are all if it is numeric it gives you 1 if it is non-numeric it gives you 0. So that is how my is numeric function works in the SQL Server 2016. So that is all about is numeric function. So if you have any question on any SQL concept or MSBA concept please drop your question in the comment section. I will try to answer as soon as possible. Also follow me on Facebook for more technical updates. You can see my Facebook link Facebook page link in the screen. That's it. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe for more technical updates. Thank you.